Hi guys. It is um, May 17th at about 4.30. I'm sitting in traffic as always. It is disgusting outside. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. It is um, 67 degrees, which, you know, isn't that bad for, you know, March, but it's May. And it is raining. It has been raining all darn day. It has been raining for several days, actually. And um, I am totally and completely sick of this rain. Like, I am done with it. Um, my, um, day was okay. Um, I did a dumb thing. Um, so this weekend when I prepared my meals for, um, lunch, I only prepared four thinking that we would have something throughout the week that I could bring with me. Well, <clears throat> we ate out every night this week and I didn't have anything to bring with me. So, um, I wanted to make sure that I brought something with me tomorrow. Um, so I just grabbed a premier protein this morning thinking I would drink that for breakfast and, um, you know, figure something out for lunch or maybe just skip lunch. Duh. So what I ended up doing today is I had the premier protein for breakfast. That was two points. Um, I like premier protein chocolate by itself. I do not like Premier Protein Caramel by itself, but I like the caramel in coffee. So um, I bought a bunch of caramel, didn't buy any chocolate, and um, so I drank the caramel. I did not like it by itself. It actually made me kind of nauseous. So, um, I, but I did drink it. And then I had a bag of popcorn for lunch for five points. Um, I had a cheese stick. This one I scanned. It was, um, for two points and then I had a pudding for two. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've had 11 points today. So, um, that's okay. Um, I'm down to like 12, 12 smart points or something for dinner, um, which is not bad. Um, I will have a two, two smart point dessert so I really have like 10 points for dinner um, but I, I be honest with you I'm starving but I really want something not so great or not so bad for me tonight because um, so tomorrow's weigh-in I am totally expecting a gain um, which will be well deserved um, I jumped on the scale this morning and I am up um, I was up last week I'm up again because, um, like I said, Norm is having a food funeral where we have had this week's steak, um, we have had pizza, we have had, um, what else did we have? We had Sakura Chinese food, which I did really well. I did good with that one. I just got vegetables and chicken and I told them hold the sauce. So I, that one's actually like nothing. But um, then we had Italian. Yesterday we had um, Italian again. It was not great. It was actually very bland. Um, but that one I had dessert because my meal I think was so bland that I ended up having a flourless chocolate cake for seven points. Um, but, um, so I've been staying in my blue dots. Like I've been keeping it between 23 and 28 points. Um, but I've been hitting 23 every day. At least 23 every day. Um, and I'm not making the best of choices. Like I'm not eating a lot, you know, so I'm keeping it in my dots, but I'm not um, making good choices. Um, and I'm eating out, which means I can't, I don't know what the sodium is. I don't know, you know, I, you, when you're eating out, you're guessing at the, the points the best you can. Um, so, you know, I, I had a gain and I expected it. I'm also not going to the bathroom um, because I haven't drank any tea this week. Um, I am, um, I'm experiencing the feeling of being overwhelmed, like a lot, a lot. So this time of year in the school year, um, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, I teach fifth grade, so we've got fifth grade promotion 
we've got, um, I teach in an IB school, so we have exhibition coming up, which is when the kids have big projects they have to present. Um, I have report cards due. Norm is scheduled to go into the hospital tomorrow. Actually, that's not true. They just called me um, a couple of minutes ago and they actually are going to take him into the hospital on Saturday at 10 a.m. instead of tomorrow at 4 p.m. Um, because there is some scheduling conflict with the nursing staff. Um, so I also told them that he was having an allergic reaction to one of his meds and they kind of want to take a look at that while he's in there and figure out what that is um, so they can handle that. Um, if he has any um, rash on his chest, they actually may postpone the surgery, um, which I know Norm does not want. Not that he wants the surgery, but we do certainly want to get his road to recovery um, on track. Um, found out today that my principal, whom I love very much, um, is leaving our school and going to another school. It is a school that he used to teach at, so he is very happy to be going to that school. Um, some other people got promotions, not in my school, but throughout the district, and it is just yet again one of those ways where I just can't catch a break. Like, I can't catch a break with this. Like, I am beginning to think that um, my promotion is just not gonna happen. Um, there is a directive in uh, many counties right now for diversity. And um, I am not diverse enough. And I'm sorry, I got a phone call. Um, I am not diverse enough. Um, but also some of the people who are my um, champions, who are my ins, who want me to get promoted, one of them is retiring and one is being promoted herself. So she will no longer be directly involved in who gets these positions. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Um, Norm has a, Norm works on commission, as I've said before, and he has a commission possible. He hasn't gotten it yet. Um, he hasn't even gotten awarded the job yet, but if he is awarded the job, this commission could pay off our house. Um, so there's a small part of me that thinks, you know, if I get that, if he gets that and it pays off the house, I'm just gonna maybe not even continue to apply to these positions. I know that I'm ready to be out of the classroom. I know that. And I think if I can't get out of the classroom, um, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm ready to move on and I'm going to keep applying, but you know, we'll see, we'll see where it takes me right now. Um, as I often do this time of year, I'm getting very antsy. I'm getting very like, well, why are these people getting promoted? And these people have been in the system for longer than me. Um, you know, why are, why are, why are these jobs being offered? Why did this person get a promotion last year? Um, not that I begrudge any of them their promotion. It's just that I feel like, you know, they keep telling me that I'm, I'm qualified and I'm ready and I'm going to get it and here it comes and just wait. And it just doesn't, it's just, there's always a barrier for me. Um, and many other women like me. Um, so, you know, I, I just, I'm frustrated today and you add that frustration of this time of year of what I like to call, um, rejection season because during hiring season, you know, you go on all these interviews and, um, you either get hired or you don't. Of course, I've been on a couple where I've gotten hired because I obviously have a job. Um, but I've also been rejected many times. Um, so I am going 
um, on, I, we're getting ready to go into what I like to call rejection season. And um, also report card season and all the other stuff that has to be done, not to mention norm surgery and just kind of everything else that needs to get done. And this is gonna sound really dumb, but this weather is really messing with me. Like I am so over this weather. Like if it was beautiful outside and I had like, oh my God, the pool's open because the pool is open, we open the pool. Um, but if I had, oh my God, the pool is open and um, I can go home this weekend and I can lay by the pool. Maybe I won't get in it, but I can put a bathing suit on and go out and lay by the pool and be nice and warm. I would probably not be feeling this way, but it's 67 degrees and it's not going to be any better tomorrow. Um, and it's not really supposed to be that much better on Saturday. Um, you know, I don't know. Plus now Norm's going into the hospital on Saturday. Um, next Saturday, Carl, this coming Saturday, Carly has, um, prom. So I'm going to get Norm to the hospital, get home, get his, um, get Carly off to prom. And then I won't, I probably won't go back until Sunday. So it actually kind of works out. And then the following Saturday, Carly has to take her driving test again, because she didn't pass it. Um, so I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way today. Like I'm, I'm caught up in my emotions and um, I really want to eat. And I got to tell you, um, I was watching um, Kim from uh, Fit and Fabulous. And um, she said that she has had a gain the last two weeks, just like me. And her... She went back and looked at some of her old videos and there were days where she had gains and one of them was like a five pound gain in a week and one was like a, I don't know what the other one was, but, um, you know, and on all of those videos, she said, let's hit the reset button and keep going. Um, and she did and she looks fabulous now and, um, you know, I, I'm kind of looking at her going, okay you know, you can't give up. So I am not going to, I believe I am not going to meet my 50 pounds off in a year. Um, I'm close. I'm like two pounds away. Um, but I'm not going to get there because of right now I'm four pounds away because I went up, but I was two pounds away from that. And I'm not going to make that. Um, I am my, my, um, one year is going to be the 23rd. I won't make 50 pounds, um, but that's okay. Um, every time I think that, I think, oh God, because you're so fat, but nothing is fitting me right now. Like literally none of my clothes fit and they're too big. So that's a good thing. Um, so I've kind of given up on that goal of being 50 pounds by then. Um, and I'm just gonna, I think, just continue to kind of work and do what I've got to do. Um, I have got to start, I don't know, being harder on myself maybe um, with my food. I think when you do any type of lifestyle change and um, your whole life you've been resistant to any type of lifestyle change, um, I think you quickly find a way to work around things and, and cheat the system, if you will. So it's, it's why Weight Watchers didn't work for Norm because he found ways to cheat the system. So he, he had lots of points because he was a lot bigger than me. Um, so he had 40 some points. And what he would do is eat, um, I would make his breakfast and lunch, which were very low points. And then my dinner would be very low points. And then he would find a way to fill up his day with junk and say, well, I still have the points. You know, so here I am eating, you know, two little Debbie snack cakes. Or um, I'm eating a bowl full of ice cream because I still have the points. Um, and of course, Weight Watchers wasn't working for him. Um, I think, if I'm being real honest, I feel like I'm doing that. But I'm not really sure if I am or not. Um, the two that I know that I could be more consistent with is my coffee. Um, I have never counted my coffee and it wasn't a problem up until I started freestyle. Um, 
And the only other one I can think of is that sometimes I count my cheese stick as two and sometimes I count it as three. I don't know. They're almost gone in my refrigerator. I'm not gonna get more. Um, this cheese is a problem for me. Um, and then we eat out so much right now. Like that is my big problem. We are eating out so much, but we, um, like I said, Norm's having a food, food funeral. Um, we're both highly stressed right now. And I just want, um, I don't know, I guess I just want life to settle down a little bit and I don't see that happening. Um, so I'm going to have to find a way to figure this out. Um, I know if I had my choice tonight, I would love soup and a salad. Like if I had my absolute choice, that's what I would want is soup and a salad. Um, I would love to have, um, to go to the diner and have my big salad with shrimp in it and, um, and some soup, but, um, I will let Norm pick. Um, I've been letting him pick all week. Yesterday, um, he went to somewhere that I suggested and like I said, it was very bland. So I probably won't, we won't, I don't think we're going to go back there. I mean, their French fries were amazing, but I didn't order French fries. I had a couple of Carly's. Um, but anyway, um, I think right now because of all of the stress and all of the turmoil that's going on for me, um, I'm almost like I would be happy if I could get to 160 something. I'm 171 right now. If I could get to 160 something and just kind of stay there. Um, like I said, when I was trying to get out of the 170s, I bounced from 172 to 170 forever. Now I'm bouncing between 168 and 171. So it's a big bounce. But, um, you know, here's some things. I have a neck. Um, yes, if I go like this, I still have a terrible chin. Um, but if I'm standing up straight, I don't. So um, Amber still hates this angle when I talk, but it's going away. So um, I am currently crossing the bridge that Norm had his heart attack on and drove himself to the hospital. So every time I go across it now, it has a little bit of a, to me, he's going the other way. Um, but for some reason in the morning, it doesn't seem to bother me, but in the afternoon, I think because it takes me so long to get across this bridge in the afternoon that I, I you know, I really sit on it. <coughs> so, um, so yeah, I have no idea what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I, like I told, I ate, I told you what I had for lunch. Um, um, I'm struggling. I am, I am 100% on the struggle bus right now. Um, a lot of you have reached out about Norm and about my struggles, and I appreciate you guys so much. And um, I just want to say thank you. Um, I will be doing, because someone did ask me, I will be doing a Q&A video. So if you have a question, um, you can ask it down below in the comments about anything. Um, one of my faults, I guess, about myself is that I am kind of an open book. Um, I tell people too much. So if there's something you want to know, I usually don't um, say no. If it's too personal, I'll tell you. But um, I'm, I'm usually pretty good at, ask, at answering questions. So um, if you have something you want to know, please ask in the comments below. And I will um, <clears throat> be sure to answer them in either in an upcoming video or um, answer you right back. Um, if there's something Weight Watcher-ish I can help you with, um, I'm more than happy. I've been doing this journey for a year now. I think I'm pretty good at it. Like I said, I've lost 48 pounds. Um, I have probably another 30 to go. I'm 30 away from goal. Um, and it really bothers me because um, I lost the first 48. Um, and it just continually came off. Um, very little... I either lost or I stayed the same. I didn't have a lot of gains and now I'm seeing more gains and losses. Not then losses, but more gains and losses. So I'm seeing a lot of roller coaster. Um, and again, I know a lot of it's stress. I know a lot of it is eating out. I know a lot of it is, um, you know, holding on to water and salt. But um, I, am, I am doing what I can and I'm doing the best I can. I think that next week is going to be real strenuous for me. Um, so Norm goes in the hospital on Saturday. Um, we do not know when he'll be out. Um, Carly will go and take her test on Saturday, the following Saturday. 
Um, so somewhere in between there. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Somewhere in between there, I am going to have to make myself breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think what I'm going to do is on Sunday, I am going to go <coughs> to the grocery store like I would normally. And I'm going to stock up on um, some smoothie stuff. I think I'm going to take a page out of um, Living Large on Lifetime with Julie. And I'm going to do some. Her banana smoothies look so good. So I think I'm going to do some of them. Um, and do some banana smoothies. And then um, banana, peanut butter banana smoothies. And then um, I think for dinners... I'm going to try to keep things really light. I think I'm going to do some, um, I'm just going to get a bag of like grilled chicken already prepared and maybe some salad greens or some stir fried vegetables and just do that so that I can make something really quick and easy um, and either take it with me um, if I'm taking a salad and have it in Norm's um, hospital room or I can just um, get it when I get home because um, what my plan is is Monday he has the open heart surgery and um, Tuesday so I'll be there all day Monday obviously Tuesday I will be all there there all day with him as well um, Wednesday um, I plan on going back to work so I will be able to have breakfast and lunch at work and have my dinner um, maybe at the hospital. I don't know. My intention is to leave my job and get to the hospital. The problem is like right now I left at four o'clock and it is 452. It should take me an hour to get home, but it is taking me, um, almost an hour and a half to get home. Partly because of the weather and partly because of this, excuse me, new traffic pattern. However, I do think, um, I have a great boss who's willing to let me leave. Um, you know, at like 3.30 on a regular basis, but also, um, you know, he, he's leaving now, so I don't think he cares too much. Um, that's terrible. That's probably not true, but I'd like to think that. Um, and we'll go from there. In the meantime, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. It's been 22 minutes, and I will upload this video, and I will try to check in with you guys um, as soon as I can. Um, thank you so much for um, watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button so that you can um, be notified when I post a video. And if you hit the little bell button, it'll notify you every time I post a video. And um, like this video. If you have any questions, please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Also, please let me know. Otherwise, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.